is going on you guys my name is rage and we are back today with a quick video in regards to some of the events that are ongoing as well as how to best prepare uh having said that there's two in specifically that we will be talking about today just because they are live already and as well as uh within the preview window so we got the galactic war zone event um ongoing right now that just started a couple hours ago as well as a teen loki's event to recruit him uh and that's called the mischief returns so first and foremost let's break down maybe one of the simpler ones just because it's already live Galactic War Zone. Um, this is the one where we're collaborating with our alliance and battling uh, in war. Uh, it's a 40 milestone to earn essentially gold and Defender of Valhalla progress. So if we head over to the milestones here of uh, Defender of Valhalla, uh, keep in mind this is the monthly event. So we're going to be needing, you know, progression points and so forth to add to this. So that way we're really maximizing not just the uh, Mystic Gear uh, need to, you know, increase Val's uh, strength, but as well uh, shards of Val later on in the deeper and uh, end milestones. Galactic War Zone milestone right here, as you see, already live. So we can hit go um, and hang to the milestone story, excuse me, the milestone tracking here, scoring. It's made of two components, right? We're, there's gonna be a limit to how much you can earn from a war credit perspective, as well as earning these aligned, uh, excuse me, allied supply or fragments. Um, and really that's coupled from pretty much playing the game and making donations. So if you go back here and hit I, it does break that down. The allied uh, supply or fragments really come from alliance donation boxes, the free claims, uh, as well as then you know, offers in the store if you are utilizing, um, you know, um, other means of purchasing. Having said that, um, to be quite honest, guys, I wouldn't stress too much about this milestone just because, yes, it does add um, to these uh, these gems of Satoric for the monthly event. But I mean, it is, again, uh, you're going to be working with your line, so you guys are working together on this. Uh, but as well, uh, there's also, you know, there's not really anything do or die in terms of um, that we need to significantly add to the monthly event because it doesn't have a featured item. It doesn't have specific gear. Uh, the really only other item to note is this apocalypse bounty or fragments which is an opportunity that's really rare in the game to get these t2 level 5 and level 4 ions and again you would only really need that if you're uh, pursuing and unlocking apocalypse in the heroic stages and obviously you want to go beyond that that heroic uh, and, and heading over to apocalyptic which then needs t2 level 5 but i mean it's not do or die it's a nice hefty amount of gold but i mean it's not something i would stress over uh, i would just try to do the best you can with your alliance um really the milestone you should be aiming for is milestone 12 so that way you can capitalize on all the the gems of satoric but i mean i don't foresee this being an issue keep in mind as well um you're going to be getting points whenever you get any war credit so uh, a good tip already that i've seen from my alliance is that you're heading to the alliance war store here and scrolling to the very bottom bottom left uh any of the uh the alliance credits that we've been generating for the last few weeks here we can actually purchase these war credits here so i can go ahead here and actually purchase and boom it is going to add to the galactic war zone so just be doing that every day if you guys are wanting to utilize your credits because at least that's a great way to use it and it will add to the points as well um there's other than that there's not too much to say on that event i think more emphasis is definitely going to be placed on this mischief returns uh, the first opportunity for us free to play to unlock team loki so let's hit preview here and i'll kind of show you what, you know, what i was referring to earlier again um you want to be kind of aiming for that sweet zone of being able to really get enough points here um for for the arena rankings right so this is not public yet but i know um you know the envoys got information on this as how this is going to work so this is the ranking here for how the arena payout is going to be for each day so depending on where you rank these are the points that are essentially going to get added to this milestone um and in order to hit the maximum milestones for this if we scroll down here uh you really want to be aiming for the maximum shards which is forty five thousand milestone 12 um and forty five thousand uh, divided by seven it's pretty much uh about seven thousand um points per day which is which puts us in the top 250 uh in terms of the arena ranking if you want to be able to coast this event if you're not in that range however keep in mind um there's going to be another opportunity to uh top up on these points as well again if we go back to the mail inbox here and uh, it was like disclosed er earlier. We can utilize these alliance, excuse me, these arena credits uh, on special milestone offers. So again, we don't have clarity on how that looks yet, but I think if we're going through, I think it's pretty safe to say that we can, you know, try to hit the top 500, the top 1500, and that'll get us close. And then hopefully uh, the arena credits are going to be what puts us over. If you want to really be able to stretch that, but I mean, also guys, as a disclaimer. Uh, you know, Team Loki is definitely not um, not really a pivotal piece out of the Bifrost team. I mean, the only reason we would probably be needing Team Loki is 
essentially just kind of further along with the showcase events that we've seen right you know if you recall with these showcase events uh we pretty much need a build up of the previous characters that have already been uh, unleashed and, and released for us to, to build up and you always need gear tier 13 to pretty much get the additional gear so i mean that would be kind of the only deal breaker that i see potentially um other than that i mean uh we know team loki is actually not that great of a character and uh he's definitely not that important in the entire bifrost big picture i mean uh val and i would say sylvia are definitely the two that are the most important um and then other than that everybody else is pretty much uh you know the extras that, that are added on top of the team to make the synergy work um especially if you're doing incursion range so i mean i would put the emphasis there guys but i mean this is definitely not an event that i would put too much effort in um if you can if you're able to do it and obviously like i said if you're able to coast and maintain your arena uh this is going to be a really 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 easy event but if you're outside of the uh you know top 1500 top 3000 of arena uh this is an opportunity to treat to see how high you can push it and and additionally on top of that you'll be able to gain more points as well but nothing to stress over guys in my honest opinion both these events aren't that uh meaningful or game changing to be quite frank uh but yeah that's pretty much the layout right now um i'm gonna do the best i can in terms of what i can do but i mean uh it's not gonna take much i'm probably just gonna coast and make uh, slight corrections here and there make some arena attempts if i'm able to do so but other than that uh, i am within the two top 250 so i probably won't be doing too much unless uh, i see that there is extra emphasis uh, and pressure in the arena competition there Hopefully this helps, gives you guys a sense at least of what to expect. Um, hope that, hopefully you guys are able to capitalize on these free shards. Thank you as always, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.